Hey, today we are going to be doing this incredible CC lens effect inside Adobe After Effects. Bear with me because it is going to be very, 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 very easy. Let's go there. Kinetic Type Series. So here we are and we have like a text layer here the text is set on Futura you can find it in Adobe fonts and the first thing that we need here obviously is the CC lens effect so in window effects effects and presets we come here and we use the search bar to search for this effect here is within the distort effects so we apply it to the layer this is already great and I'm going to play a little bit with the um, the controls of the, uh, this effect which are very 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 easy to understand we have like the size of you know this effect that means like kind of the sphere expands in a way and you see how cool these deformations that it creates to our text here so then we have this other a control here the convergence and this is how much of the effect we have I would say that it works best when it's in its positive values like this and I'm going to leave it at 100 for example now I'm going to animate this in different ways. One way could be like I come here to the position of our layer. You remember that you can hit P to just show the position. And I'm going to right click and separate the dimensions because I'm only going to deal with the X position. So I go to the beginning. I create my first keyframe here. And then, for example, at second one, I'm going to create my second keyframe. So that's an animation right there. And you see how cool this is. It is just the position. And because this layer is affected by this CC lens effect, it creates all these super interesting effects. Now we are going to get rid of these keyframes just by hitting again in the stopwatch here okay no more and I'm going to disable for a moment the effect here in this control if you don't see all these controls it's just a matter of hitting here in this button on the on the bottom uh, and we can activate and deactivate all the effects that are going on or that are working on a particular layer so next thing is I'm going to select this and I'm going to come here to the align and I'm going to put it at the center again and I'm going to play only with the convergence to create the animation so I'm at the beginning of the timeline I'm going to create my first keyframe here it's at 100 and I'm going to go again to second one and for example I'm going to crank this down to zero and that could be uh, an incredible animation that is like from a very distorted text here to a very clean uh, or <laughs> a very yeah the, w the way it should look let's say it this way so that was cool I mean, this is a super easy effect, super straightforward, and you can create amazing effects with it. With that said, please remember that you have a lot of super cool other tutorials on my channel, so stay there because this is going to only grow more and more and more. You can also go even to my Instagram here and tell me that in the comments of any of these kinetic type pieces you can tell me okay I want a tutorial of this particular thing and I'm going to take note of everything that you say 
because the goal of this channel is just to help you get there to be a kinetic type master. See you on the next one. Kinetic, Kinetic Type Series. series.